So today's video is how to make this cute little card case. These are great gifts because you can put a gift card in it or you can put um, like a loyalty rewards card in it. You can put other stuff in the little card case and give that as the gift. And then it's a handmade item that also has some monies in it. Okay, so this is a really great project because there's very little sewing. So the first thing we're gonna start with is on the back of the pattern is a template. I'm also gonna give you the first copy of a clean template that you can make copies of that's on, um, yeah, thanks Frog, that's on cardstock. But you can make as many copies of this as you need to. It's helpful if it's on a heavier weight paper. So this is printed on cardstock. One will say inside and one will say outside. You'll see that the outside is a little bit bigger, okay? We're gonna put, I've got Apple stick. You can use steam -a seam You can use um, any sort of two-sided fusible. Apple stick's just the one that I like the best because it doesn't gum your needle up as much, okay? So we're just gonna take this to the iron and we're gonna fuse it. Make sure your iron is really hot when you do this because you really want that fusible to stick down. All right, so now we're gonna pull this off. See all my sticky that came off is now on my mat and I can just roll that off and use it again. Here's a hot tip. Make sure that if you have glue on this, you clean it off before you go and press the next thing. Now I'm gonna take paper scissors. These are scissors I do not care about. And I'm gonna cut away the edge of where my template is. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fabric or our templates and we're gonna glue them to the back side of fabric. Sometimes getting the paper off the sticky stuff is kind of challenging. If you take a sewing pin and you score it and then bend it, the paper will come off easier from the middle out than if you try to pick at the corner. So when you pick at the corner, it kind of frays up whatever you're trying to work with and it's hard to get it off. But if you cut it from the middle and rip it away, it's a whole lot easier. Now the reason I like Apple stick is because it's tacky. So see it's sticky like a sticky note, which means I can put it, I can put it down and then see I'm gonna put it down and realize that that's not all that centered. So I can peel it back up off the paper or off the fabric. And I wanna center this evenly, so I've got about a half an inch all the way around my fabric. And I'm gonna do that with both the outside and the inside pieces. And then once I put this to the iron, the fusible will be permanent. So when I iron this, I won't be able to pull it back up. Right now I still can. So if you decide you wanna change something and reposition it, and you're like, oh, I, I, want this on the, I want this fabric on the outside or whatever, you can switch it around. Then we're gonna iron it. I iron it from the fabric side because there's less, um, there's less to go through from the fabric side than there is from the cardboard side. I'm just gonna go and trim around this now so that I have a half an inch of fabric all the way around my paper. On your outside template, your outside template is slightly bigger than your small template. You'll see that there's two holes, two little circles to make holes, and there's a Velcro placement guide if you choose to use Velcro on your project. We're gonna do the snap setting. So I'm gonna take, this is a tool that comes with the snap setter. You can use an awl if you like. And I'm just gonna poke a hole through that circle. I wanna make sure that I can see the hole from the other side of the fabric, which I can. And I'm gonna mark that spot for on both ends. This is gonna tell me where to put my snap, okay? So now that we have our snap set, see how these lines say fold on them? This is my point-to-point -point turner. It has what's called a Hera marker on the other side. I'm gonna take the marker and I'm gonna run it right down that line that says fold all three lines. 
What this is gonna do is it's gonna make that cardboard fold on that spot easier and so that it makes a straight line. Since the fold is on the other side where you can't see it, making that little hair mark makes the cardboard a little bit weaker so it will fold right where you want it to, okay? So we've marked our folds, fold lines, all three of them. So these are plastic snaps. That's what we're gonna demo in today's video. What you need is two flat ends. Both of these are exactly the same, okay? These are gonna be the parts of the, the snaps that hold it together. Then you have a male and female end of your snaps. The male goes up, the female goes down. They click together. We're gonna set the female side of the snap on the bottom part of our of our card, okay? So this is gonna be on the inside of the card, so I'm gonna use the flat side of my snap, because you are not gonna see this part, so it's gonna go on the inside of the card, of the card holder. We're gonna take the female end of our snap and set it right there. These are the pliers that set this in. This has got like a little rubber mat. So you put the flat side of your snap in this little holder setting here, okay? You have to kind of work it in there because the throat of this isn't very long. And then you set the rubber plunger down on top of the snap itself and squeeze it. So what happens is the pointy bit gets smashed down. So this point is now gone, it gets smashed down inside of the snap, okay? So we're just gonna set this side for now. All right, I'm gonna show you two different ways to glue your fabric down onto your cardstock. First, we're gonna use 505 spray. This is a really great basting spray for if you're, when you're gonna quilt your quilts. It's also handy for these, these kind of projects. You wanna do this either outside or in a space where you're not worried about overspray. I like to just take a cardboard box and lay my, my whatever I'm working on inside the cardboard box so the spray stays where I want it if I'm doing a bigger project. This isn't a very big project, so I'm just gonna put it on my, on my adhesive sheet we just talked about because I know the glue will wipe off. And I'm just going to lightly spray around the sides of my template, okay? I always say 505 spray should be used like hairspray, but not 80s hairspray. So just a little bit will do, a lot, do the whole job. We're gonna roll our fabric around the cardboard template. If you just take your fingers and roll it, don't, you don't wanna fold the fabric at all, or you don't wanna fold the template. You can make your corners nice and sharp and fold this back up again, okay? So we want our, our, our corners to be flat. So I just pull my fabric back, fold it in on itself, so we end up with this nice sharp corner, okay? And we're just gonna roll this all the way around. When you get to this curve, it helps to take a couple little cuts, just a few and not even all the way to the cardboard, just about halfway down. We're just gonna snip into the fabric. That lets the fabric turn the corner a little easier. So if you just take your finger and roll your fabric over the edge, you can keep that nice curved shape that you started with, okay? You can do the same thing with a fabric glue stick if you um, are afraid of the overspray. This is my favorite glue stick because see how it goes on and you can see it. You wanna do one side at a time because as this glue stick dries, it disappears. And once it's clear, it's no longer sticky. So I'm gonna do one side and then the bottom. Again, you wanna make sure that these corners are sharp, so tuck them in a little bit before you fold them over so they don't stick over. Now, if you go and hit this with an iron real quick, everything is gonna lay real flat. 
What that does is it dries the glue so everything stays nice and flat. So we have our pieces put together. Look how cute, okay? Now we're gonna put our ribbons in. On our inside piece, it will say ribbon placement. There's a ribbon placement line. See, it's dashed. You wanna take your two pieces of ribbon. I just took the piece of ribbon in my kit and I cut it in half. And I'm gonna lay this on top of the ribbon. You can see either side that the ribbon lines up with the dotted line. So we're gonna do that on both sides. Now, if you use the 505 method to spray this down, this is already gonna be tacky. And when you fold your ribbons over, they're gonna just stick to the 505 spray. If you used the Quilter Select um, glue stick, you're going to need to put some glue down. Now here's the, again, this is the reason I like this glue stick. Because when it's yellow, it's sticky. And when it's clear, it's, it's dry. See, it are, it's already clear, so it's not going to stick. Once it's clear, it's no longer sticky, which means you can't see it and it won't make a mess anymore. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick those down. Again, if you use the 505 spray, you can just stick your ribbons around. So that's how you put your ribbons in. So now we're gonna take and put our two sides together. When you lay them on top of each other, the bigger piece shows just slightly around the edge. Okay, you just sort of stick it together like that, and then we're gonna take it to our sewing machine and we're just gonna sew a line all the way around the outside, just inside the lining piece. Now I'm using my stitch in the ditch foot because I can stitch right along the edge of my cardboard piece with it. And I'm using a thread you can see, so you can see it on the other side. So I'm gonna drop my foot. I'm gonna do a tie off stitch to lock it in place. And then since I'm using this foot with a guide on it, I can just run the guide right along the edge of that piece of cardboard. And since the cardboard's kind of firm, it will, it will guide right along that. Now I've bumped my needle over to the inside so that I get a top stitch effect. I'm going to turn it and go around the other side. So then just make sure that you snip away any threads that are sticking out, make it look nice and clean. Look how cute this is. It's very festive. And since we've done those folding lines on the inside, now when we roll this up, it's gonna crease right where we want it to crease. So now the last step we need to do is put that last snap in. Since we made a hole where we could see the marking spot, I'm gonna use that all again we're gonna make a nice hole all the way through we're gonna use the flat side of our snap on the outside now so we are gonna see this put the male side of our snap on the inside now our snap is set when we fold this up the snap clicks together now you have a cute little card case. So when you open your card case, you can put a little gift card right inside there. Look how cute. Five Little Monkeys gift card would fit in there really nicely. There you go.